Hey Leo, it's your girl Tara Card Bay. I'm here to do your reading. Happy 88 Lionsgate. Happy birthday. Happy Leo season. This reading is for this week of August, going into next week. We're going to look at your overall energy, who or what's coming towards you, and then we'll take it from there. We'll pull on some new love at the very end. So watch all the way to the end. All right, let's jump in for my sexy Leos. Overall energy for my sexy Leos this week of August. What do we have for my sexy Leos? Publicity, Leo, fifth house energy. So you could feel like all eyes are on you right now. You could feel like you want to be seen. Um, prior to your season, I get an energy of maybe you're a little bit more chill than you normally were, not going out as much, but this is an energy of wanting to pop out. We do have the fifth um, house energy. So this is a reflection of those around you, people, places, or thing, work, friend, group, lovers. But at the end of the day, all eyes will be on you. Some of you Leos have star potential, star quality. You may be very popular amongst people you know. You could be popular when it comes to work. Um, if not, you will have more opportunities to shine, to show your stuff, to show your personality, to be seen. What else we have? We have lust. Aries, first house energy with lust. Hmm. So the, that sun energy, that summer energy, your energy does bring passion, sex, and lust within this season. This is something that is here for you. I also get an energy of someone lusting after you. I say that because of the perspective of the card. You see, we have the woman kind of in the back as if someone's looking through bushes or something, watching a person and being very sexually attracted to this person. So I do see some of you have a secret admirer or there's someone that pays attention to you who is attracted to you um, that you don't necessarily maybe you don't pay too much attention to them or you're oblivious to their attraction of you um this person is very turned on by you i get like arousal explosion this person fantasizes about you or they will fantasize about you again this is an energy of somebody who watches you isolation score no this is virgo isolation six house Virgo six house isolation. A lot of you Leos have detached from people who stress you out, people who don't give you clarity, people who don't put you on the pedestal that you feel like you deserve to be on. You could feel like you've isolated or you've or a person is isolated from you. Uh, but I do see a lot of you turned your back on those that don't value you um, in the in the way that you want to be valued. Also, when you think about your life, your future, your home life, the foundation you want to build, you're turning your back on people who you cannot see in your future, your prosperous future. So if you know you want to be successful and you got bums around you, you got people who are jealous, haters, people who... You know, you take them to a nice place, they embarrass you. You're dating someone, they have other lovers, they embarrass you. You know you can't be a, be your highest self at your highest vibration with this energy. You're not bringing them in the next season with you. I do have defense, which came in reverse. This is Taurus energy, second house, defense in reverse. I actually like to see that because that makes me think of, you know, you turning your back on someone, but it doesn't have to be a fight. You do not have to have your guard up. You don't have to fight. Again, you don't have to fight this person. It doesn't have to be nasty words. If you know your worth, you can gracefully bow out. Um, you also could be feeling less defensive if you walked away from people who triggered you, walked away from people who didn't treat you in the way that you wanted to be treated. All right, now we're going to go to the tarot and look at Leo. Let's see who's coming towards Leo this week, 8-8 eight, eight portal going into next week. Who's coming towards my Leo's Four of Cups energy? This is someone who is dissatisfied with what is around them currently. 
they're looking at the three cups, which makes me think of a person who's looking at that party lifestyle, the multiple lovers, the club, the VIP sections, the times in their life that don't really include a lot of depth. This could be you also, Leo, but the times in their life or the people, places in their life that don't have a lot of depth to them, there is an energy of looking at that and not being pleased with it, like being bored with that three of cups, party life, multiple lover energy. We do have the chariot here. You could be dealing with the cancer. That is divine movement. What are we moving towards? Seven of Pentacles. Waiting, oops, waiting for what you've invested to pay off. Seven of Pentacles is when you've put effort into something and you're waiting to kind of get the fruits of your labor. You're waiting to see what's going to come from a situation. Page of Swords in reverse. Why is the Page of Swords in reverse? And the Fool. If some of you like to keep an eye out on people from your past, check their social medias, things like that. I see that you're letting that go. You're not staying connected to the past. You're not trying to gain an advantage of the past. This could be a you or another person. I do get for some of you, this is a person who played games in the past, always needed to win in the past. That's coming forward. Um, and they don't want to come in with strategy. They don't want to come in with an angle. They want to come in and have a new start of some sort. But again, I'm getting for some of you, this could be you also, Leo. If this is a person, this person... This is an energy of someone, Leo, that could have been waiting for you and you didn't show up. So now they want to come in and try a different approach. But this is not a strategic approach. This is something that is really in their heart. This is something that they really want with you, a new start. So the strategic approach comes from someone who wants something for, from you. They're coming in with the angle. They're coming in with the strategy because they want a specific end result. This person is coming in wanting a new start and kind of gonna come in with arms wide open. Is that creed? With arms wide open. <laughs> This person is going to come in with arms wide open and offer you something, offer you a, a chance at a new beginning, the start of a new beginning. I also feel that this is the energy of someone who has had some type of spiritual awakening, like now believing in the divine, believing in God, believing in having a higher purpose. This is something that they could have not believed in in the past, but this person has like had some sort of awakening. I really think you dis distracting or detaching from this person and letting them sit with their three of cups and their multiple lovers and their parties and their VIP section. Like you, they got their feel of that. And now they want to come forward and they want to bring you an offer. We have the King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Seven of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Tower card. So you had a tower with this person. That's what's causing a delay as far as this person coming towards you because of whatever happened in the past. The, the end of the, the foundation that this person has built either with you or in general. This person has faced some type of tower. I do see partially this tower was due to a indecision, lack of decision making, which caused the tower. What else? King of Swords in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to come in different than they were before. They could have been in that King of Swords in reverse energy, being strategic, trying to win at all costs, being that guarded, wounded warrior. But now they want a new start. They want a passionate new beginning with you. Okay, let's see how this person feels about Leo. We got the Moon card. Four of Wands. Three of Swords. 
They have very deep emotions for you. This could be a Cancer, Leo, um, or just a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The moon is kind of like Cancer and Pisces energy. Um, this is a person that could dream about you. You could dream about this person. This person feels very deeply towards you. They are drawn towards you like a person is drawn to the moon. It's something about you, Leo, that draws out this person's emotions. You make them very emotional. They have thought about being with you, marriage, life, you know, living life with you, having a home with you. They have thought about this. This Three of Swords is here. Uh, Three of Swords is always past, present, and future pain for me. I do feel that the Three of Swords partially is connected to you, Leo, but it's also not connected to you. So this person had at least two swords in their heart before you met them, and that third sword could be the sword that you put in their heart, vice versa. Why is the Three of Swords here? Look at that, the Lovers. And the Ten of Pentacles. And the Hermit card. This is a person who wants to be with you. They needed to take time. They needed to even possibly get older, become more mature, introspect with the hermit energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Shout out to my Virgos if you are. We love you forever. <laughs> but if you are dealing with a Virgo um, or if you're not dealing with a Virgo, this person needed time to mature. This person also needed time to look at the three of swords, look at the pain they've called caused others look at the pain they caused you look at the pain they caused themselves and they needed to grow from that but they do feel very connected with you with the four of wands and the lovers uh that could be twin flame energy for those of you who resonate we have the nine of swords seven of cups ten of cups this is an energy of someone who is in deep regret sleepless nights uh, energy of depression. They juggled you. They fumbled you. They they gambled with you. And they feel like they've lost. Because now, of course, they want the Ten of Cups. So we got the Lovers, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Now they want this. Now they want this with you. Before they kind of were looking at all their different cups, looking at all their different options, Leo, thinking that you were one of their options. But again, they've had this awakening that, yeah, that they need to offer a motion to you. We got the strength cards, six of swords, and the page of cups. It's going to take them strength to come towards you. It's going to take them strength to move this connection to a positive space. Place. It's going to take them strength to have this page of cups energy and come in kind of like with their tail tucked between their legs. Come in and be vulnerable. Come in and be like a page. Come in and be open hearted. You know how when you get in it, get into it with somebody and you have to come back and be like, you know, I love you and I'm sorry I acted like a jerk and this is how I really feel. Like, I feel that that person is, is going to take on that energy. We do have the page of wands, so there is a message, call, email, carrier pigeon coming in from this person. And it is positive news, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. And the five of swords. Why is this here? Nine of cups. The will of fortune. This person wants to be committed to you, Leo. They want to make you their queen of pinnacles. We also got judgment in reverse from a person in the past wanting that old thing back. This person was very selfish, a little pig-headed, stubborn in the past. However, they have very deep emotions for you and they want to be with you. What is this person's next steps towards Leo? King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse. So making a decision to be a stable person in your life. This is a true pair. This person is making the decision to rise up, match your frequency, and try to bring you stability. How will you respond to this? 
a lot of reversals. Your response, or some of you will respond by telling this person everything that you don't want. So we got the Nine of Pentacles. You don't want slow ass movement. We got the nine of cups in reverse. This person cannot be wishy-washy in and out with their emotions. We got the three of cups in reverse. No third party, no bottle girls, no, you know, side dudes. Like this is a connection amongst two people who love each other. Two cups only. So I feel that you're going to stand your ground when this person comes in. You will be open to them, but you will let them know that. If you're coming forward, if you're matching my frequency, it's it's two cups only. It's just us. And if it's not just you two, I don't see that you'll take it. Queen of Swords. I'm literally just sitting here. I'm not even shuffling cards. I'm just picking cards up. And they're telling a story, honey. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Queen of Cups, this person, you are in love with this person, Leo. You are in love with them. However, you do feel that the, the cycle that you all had going is not healthy. Um, if this person is not willing to break the cycle and come to you with their cup and you meet them with your cup, I do see that you're going to walk away from this. Queen of Wands, Six of Wands, you will be successful either way. You are successful, Leo, but you will be successful either way. I do see this connection will be successful. Um, it could also lead to marriage if this person rises up and meets your, meets your vibration and your frequency. All right. What about those who didn't get a message from that for my Leos? New love for those who did not get a message or who is just interested in new love. New love for my Leos. What do we have? Six of Swords. So this is a person who wants peace. This is a person who might be moving away from a connection to find peace, flying away from a connection, traveling towards peace. This person could be moving away or moving out of a home place. What else about the new love? Eight of Pentacles. This person will want to work. You could be dealing with the earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We do have the devil in reverse for this person. And the five of wands. This is a person who kind of defeated some type of toxicity that they had in their life. It could have impacted them financially also. Um, I don't see that the devil energy is present in their energy. We do have a five of wands here. So that gives me an energy of them still battling what's in their past. This person could be divorced. This person could have been in a long-term commitment. Somehow they're still connected with the person from their past. But the new lover wants, um, they want forward movement. They want to feel safe. They want to feel secure. They want to be at peace. We do have an emperor energy so this is not a king. This is an emperor. This is someone who wants control of their destiny or has control of their destiny. This is somebody who will want a person to match them, like their empress energy. This is a person who will control any five of wands type of energy. So if there's any conflict in the new love's life, if they have an ex-wife, an ex husband, ex-partner, ex-business partner, they will be in control of it and you will not feel whatever that five of wands is. You will not feel like you're in competition. You will not feel like another person is trying to make your connection negative. They will have control of it. What else about the new love for Leo? Strength card in reverse. King of wands in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. And the Sun upright. Some of you Leos are going to have some trouble like adapting to being in a connection. Some of you Leos have asked for this love connection. But when it comes in, you're going to have a problem like relinquishing control to another person because you have been in control of for so long. 
Um, I do see this person will have really good intentions. The sun card is with the emperor, so they will have good intentions. They will be transparent. They will want you to be happy and positive. They will also bring solutions to your life instead of problems. But some of you will have a problem opening up to them. Some of you will have a problem compromising with them and also some of you Leos will have some conflict letting your single ways go so you might not want to give your roster up for somebody like that will be a requirement with the new love you will not be able to have a roster but some of you will have issue letting go of your options for this person look at that four of pentacles holding on which is a lack mentality, holding on because of fear. Two of cups here. And the two of pinnacles. Don't play yourself out of a possible love situation because you can't make a choice. Don't be like the people in your past. You could have picked up some of those personality traits or behavioral traits um, from the past people being indecisive, you know, wanting to hold on, being in a lack mentality. Sometimes when you deal with people in a low vibration, you do pick up their energy and start becoming like them. But don't juggle something that could be love or has the potential of the Two of Cups healing energy just because you're afraid. Four of Cups, Ten of Swords. If you juggle this person, if you do not give to this situation, you you will kind of have some regret here. Or this person will. Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Cups. It's very important when you're interacting with this new love, Leo, that you are in your power. This will be someone who likes to see you confident, sexy, happy. Um, they're going to want to see you be your best self and they're going to want to look at that five of cups in reverse. They're going to want you to like heal your heart or help you heal those emotional blockages. This is not someone you will have to like dumb yourself down for. You won't have to minimize yourself. You won't have to be less fabulous. You won't have to be less of anything. You will be able to be your full self with this new love and they will appreciate it we got the empress and the wise one i got that this is a lover who will be wise enough to see what they have and nurture it and value you and love you properly you do need to heal some of that negative energy from your past we got eight of cups here five of pentacles seven of cups eight of cups Walking away from that five of cups, seven of pentacles, being juggled, being left out in the cold, walking away from that lack mentality because you have a lover here who's ready to love you in your full self. Look at that. The lovers, ace of wands, they're going to love you for you. And again, you won't have to dumb yourself down. You won't have to minimize yourself. They will love you for you. I got two three of swords cards so there is some healing that you need to do in the interim i'm also getting that you two could heal each other uh, but if you haven't started on your healing journey from the past disappointments it's a great time to start on that now before you meet this lover uh, but again this person will love you for you for your fullness for your confidence for your dramatic nature for your bougie this person will be all for you. So I like that. I like that. Who is this person? An uh, 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 emperor that's going to be all in. An uh, emperor that wants an empress. An uh, emperor that wants someone who's in their power. Coming your way, Leo. I hope you like this reading. Hit the thumbs up if you like it.